I know what some of you might be thinking now, and what some of you are thinking is familial hypercholesterolemia. The only thing wrong with people with familial hypercholesterolemia is they have raised cholesterol levels, L or LDL, and they have a very high rate of heart disease, don't they? They don't. This is from uh, a chap who actually ran at the European Atherosclerosis Research Studies and comes from, um, comes from Glasgow. He did a study on familial hypercholesterolemia. First, first point is, all studies on FH are susceptible to bias, it should be too biased, as the families are almost invariably identified where members present with coronary heart disease. In other words, the people you see who have familial hypercholesterolemia have come to you because they have a relative who's died of heart disease. So what happens to people with familial hypercholesterolemia whose families have not died of heart disease? We don't know because we don't see them. Not historically. The findings of the first and second European atherosclerosis research studies indicated that FH is not a significant risk factor in premature coronary heart disease. I bet you're a bit surprised by that. So another group, this is in Holland, had a look. A huge cohort, I'm sorry about so many words on this, but when you come into an area like this, people don't believe me when I say things like this, because I think you're just making it up. A large cohort of patients with FH, free from selection for cardiovascular disease bias, and their unaffected relatives was collected by a genetic cascade and examined for the influence of different mutations of the LDL receptor gene on lipoprotein levels. The conclusions, LDL receptor <coughs> mutations only partly contributed to variation in LDL and cardiovascular burden. Additional, so far, and unidentified familial risk factors must underlie the difference of cardiovascular disease risk, most likely independent of lipids and lipoproteins. In short, there are other things going on in familial hypercholesterolemia. You can find different genetic strands, some of which who have high LDL levels and low rates of heart disease, some have high LDL levels and high rates of heart disease. The difference between the two groups is the rates of heart disease. Something else is causing their heart disease. I happen to believe I know what that is, but it's a bit too complicated to go into at the moment. 